Hey guys, Spartan85 here. Welcome back to the Builder Series, episode 10. Uh, we're going to hit the trader today. That's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to start heading there right now. I have everything that I want to sell. Uh, oh, I should have repaired that. Uh, what do I need? Leather to repair that? Let me grab some leather real quick. That was dumb. <laughs> so I meant to, I, I thought I had all these repaired last night. There we go. Repaired. Throw that back. Now we can sell it. Always repair your things before you uh, to go to the trader if you can. So let's pull up the map. I know we have one to the south and to the northwest. Right there. That's going to be a little closer. And then we have one up there too. I think. I mean, they're both going to be relatively close. Uh, let's go... i tell you what. Let's go to the northwest one. I just I have this feeling about it. I want to go check out the northwest one. Plus, it'll give me another chance to kind of walk through the town and see if there's anything I missed at all, which I don't think there is. I think I got all the buildings uh, mapped out, but uh, we'll go check this guy out. Plus, we haven't been to the northwest of this town. I'm kind of curious what's up here. Um, I, another thing, I really want to find the uh, the mini bike schematic. I, I'd like to find that eventually because I think after the day 14 horde, if I get the base done, we might move to another city. I don't know. We'll see. And then move to another city means probably building another base. Oh, there's a mining helmet. We can take that and sell it. What do we need to repair that with? Probably forged, yeah, forged iron. That's all right. We'll sell it. A lot of great comments in the series so far. One of the biggest one was like, hey, you forgot about the workbench you saw on the passing gas. And I did. I totally forgot. I wasted 15 dang skill points unlocking the workbench when there was a workbench in that passing gas that we raided earlier on uh, a couple of episodes ago. So not the smartest move by me. Um, I usually don't do the smartest moves. So uh, it wasn't on purpose. I was just, I was just totally forgot that workbench was gear. So nothing in there. And somebody asked a good question. Like, why are you rocking the bow so much this series? And I did say it at the very beginning, but um, I usually go melee. I usually go melee build, but I also die <laughs> a lot um, early early game when, I, when I'm doing melee. So I'm trying to rock the bow for a couple reasons. One is to not die, for one. And I also want to raise my archery. I'd love to get my archery raised really high um, for the Horde Knights. It's, it's nice to use archery during a Horde Knight. It, it, um, it just... A lot easier you don't have to you know deal with melee and stuff like that or get caught or get, get stunned or anything like that so i'd always want i always kind of wanted to see what it was like uh with a maxed out oh this, this is a lake with like a maxed out character and that's a really good archer like on the horde knights now how do we get well i did not know this Um, okay. Some feathers. Uh, I'm guessing the road is over there. Man, that sucks. I mean, we can swim. A couple of people said there are fast ways to swim in this game. You Fastest way I've seen is just stay on top and hold A. You kind of just glide across. Uh, you will lose stamina, though, pretty soon, doing this. But we'll do it. Why not? Let's go. We're, we're already here. Look at that. You can actually see the road go underneath the lake. There's the road right there. It goes underneath the lake. This must be the road that goes to the trader, I guess. Uh, a couple of people said in the comments that if you crouch while swimming, you'll swim faster. I don't know if that's true. And then somebody also said if you swim backwards, you go faster. Um, again... I don't know. Maybe backwards while holding A? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Water in this alpha sucks. That's all I know. It sucks. While we're heading to the trader, I'll share with you guys I saw something the other day. Uh, I saw a burglar kicking in his own door, so uh, he must be working from home. Yeah, this trader's right on the lake. It's a lakefront trader. It's pretty cool, I guess. I wish he wasn't on the other side of the lake. 
Uh, look, oh, there's a, man, this is a lakefront trader. Look at that. It's like a little island trader. Oh, man. Should I build a freaking, oh, I should build a base right there on the island. That's cool. Oh, man. What do you guys think? Should we, should we do a, like an island base and play uh, Jamaican music all day? No, I mean, really, like, should we do it? Should we do an island base? That's pretty cool. What do we have here? We have, oh, this is coffee beans, and I do not want coffee beans. Man, come on. That's all right. Let's go see what, uh, see what he'll give us for this stuff we got. We sell only the best merchandise. Right. I'm going to sell all my painkillers. Uh, I can get 374 coin from them. Is it the greatest idea? Probably not, but oh well. I might as well. I'm not really using them, so might as well just sell them. Okay, so he's not going to buy the pistol. If you guys don't know this, if he's not going to buy a pistol that you want to sell, sometimes you can go to assemble and um, basically disassemble the pistol. And see if he'll buy the individual parts. Greetings, stranger. Let's see if he'll do that. Yep, the best deal he will. There you go. 3,200 coin. Not a ton. Let's see what he has. Mechanical parts. I could have used those the other day. As uh, vitamins. Raw meat. Iron arrows. 762 ammo. Night vision goggles. A lot of people have been talking about that in Discord and... Uh, Comments about night vision goggles and why they suck in this alpha too. I've never actually used them to be honest. I I don't know, but eggs. Oh, I could buy some potatoes. Yeah, let's buy some potatoes. We can turn those right into potato seeds. Uh, I'll buy the eggs. Eggs are nice to have. I'd like to start making uh making some more recipes with eggs. It has a barb club. Um, I'll take the gunpowder. Here's everything I sold. Anvil, shotgun, 9mm round. Um, the 9mm round would be nice. I have 91 rounds already, though. But um, let's, let's save our money. I'd rather buy, like, an auger or a chainsaw or something like that. Stranger. Or even, like, a schematic. So, I think I'm okay on that. Let's, um... Oh, we got a Crawlin' Carl. That ain't Carl, I'm sorry. That's just Crawlin' Mick. Alright, we'll take all that. Okay, so this one should be off the map. It's it, The trader quest is done, so I will get no more traders popping up. But we do have this one marked on the map already. That's a cool little island, man. I don't know. I just I just think that's cool. Well, let's head back. How much coin do I have? I still got 2,700 coin. We could go hit that other trader, maybe. Um, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's only 8 o'clock, so well, let's go hit the other trader. I'm just really curious what he has. All right, guys, I'm back at the base because I forgot I had a Mega Crush here that I'd like to grab. If I'm going to go to his other trade, let's grab this Mega Crush. I have one. And I also totally forgot to show you guys. Uh, let me close this hatch. Totally forgot to show you guys what I did last night. I got started on a mine. Look at this. I made it down to rock, to stone, about two levels down into stone. So starting to get some stone now, which is nice because I need to make the cement mixer. So let's go to... Um, Let's go to the trader, and what do I need to make the cement mixer any before I go to the trader? Let me look real quick. Can I get that thing laid down? I need forged iron, spring, small engine, mechanical parts. And I think I need, I have enough mechanical parts, I have an engine, I have forged iron and springs. Let's get this thing crafting. Yep, gonna take two minutes. That's not bad. Let's run to this other trader while we're doing that. We'll drink this Mega Crush. Find him on the map. Where is he at? Uh, straight south. So over here. And uh, where's my Mega Crush? Let's drink that. Uh, 
Got a cool little house out here by itself. Just to the south. Got some zombies nearby. Finally, this is a long walk. I did pick up some bird's nest and some chrysanthemum along the way so I can make some red teas. But long walk. This is Trader Bob, I believe. He's got kind of the uh, the trailer park. <laughs> trailer. Trailer park trader. That's what I'm trying to say. A little bit of paper. Some brass. We'll go and search him first. Oh, there's some stuff we can scrap. I could sell these trophies to him, but that's all right. We'll just, uh, we'll scrap them. Ah, oh, more brass. All right. Blueberry. All right. Thank you. We'll definitely plant that. We have another blueberry we need to turn into a seed, so that'll be nice. Scrap that for the iron. More iron. All right. Great. Nice first aid. Actually, I'm going to drink that blood pack. My health is a little low. Um, I guess I never healed from the other day, I guess. Can I not scrap that? I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Airdrop. Cool. Looks like it's to the northwest. So that might be on our way home. Maybe. Most of the time, this stuff doesn't have really anything in them. There is, like, some workbenches and some forges you can use. Uh, sometimes there's a car over here we can search. Looks like there's one. Oh, is I that know. a steel pick? Oh, that's a steel pickaxe. Oh, man. Well, let's see if he's got some forged steel, then. And I'll buy some forged steel and repair this thing. Oh, that's a... That is a game changer, man. We may have to go to the bank now that we have still pick. Hey, thanks, dude. I just raided the heck out of you. Ten pieces of paper. Let me sell these individually. Um, races your barter just a little bit. Not much. Steel arrows. Um, reinforced steel upgrade. Okay. Uh, cornbread, boiled meat, mushrooms. Bullet casings. Uh, I'll buy the mushrooms. They're cheap. I'll turn those... I think you just need dirt. You can turn those into mushroom spores, I think. Steel fire axe. Um, tin landmine. He's got three of them. Let's buy those. I'll probably end up stepping on those. He's got snowberries, jar of honey. Um, I don't see anything really... I didn't see any like weapons. Shotgun that I can't afford. Man, I don't see any forged steel. No forged steel. Well, shucks. <laughs> I was really hoping to have some. That's okay. That's okay. The other trader did have forged steel. I'm not going to run all the way up there just for forged steel. But, um, man, if we can come across some forged steel, we can repair this pickaxe. Is that Harold? Now, I've called this guy Harold for a long time. Um, somebody in the comments, and his name's Starman. He's also another YouTuber, if you guys want to check him out. He does Seven Days to Die content. But uh, um, he suggested uh, Mr. Garvey, because he looks like the substitute teacher from Key and Peele, the, the skit. Uh, he looks like Mr. Garvey. The, he calls the guy A.A. Ron. And uh, my, my name's my name's Aaron. 
but yeah, so Mr. Garvey. I kind of like that, so I might call him Mr. Garvey from now on. I like that. He's still kind of Harold in my heart, because I called him Harold for so long, but I like Mr. Garvey. I like it. Airdrop is to the... Oh, it's right there. Look how close that thing is. Let's go get that airdrop. Um, another bird's nest. I'll search that. So yeah, I like Mr. Garvey. So we're going to go back and get this, but man, by the time we get back, I don't know if we're going to have a time to really build. I was hoping to do some more building this episode, but um, might be better just to do some looting or something, maybe. just to, We'll see what time it is. This trader's further out than I than I thought it was. I will say that. No, you don't get it, Mr. Pig. No way. Oh, he's going to get away. All right, whatever. Uh, rocket launcher barrel, a flashlight, four first aid kits, antibiotics, and SMG schematic, and a beaker. Cool. That's actually pretty nice because I can start making fertilizer in the campfire as well as the cement mixer. So let me drop the lead, get the antibiotics. Cool. Grab this chrysanthemum too. That pig is in the middle of the water. He got away. Oh, there's another island out there. Look at that. Build a base on that little tiny island. Alright, we're finally back. This body is still here. I'm surprised I haven't despawned yet. Let's get rid of that. It's my little dump box. If you guys don't know what a dump box is, there are some new players that are starting to watch me and stuff. I just put a box down that you can dump all your inventory in, and then you can sort it later. You can come back to this and actually, like, you know, sort it. Take time and sort it. Um, it let you kind of use the daytime a little bit better if you can. So... 25 eggs I picked up today. That five were from the trader, but I picked up 20 eggs just from walking to and from the trader. 214 feathers. And then 22 pieces of chrysanthemum. So that's what I was doing on the on, on the non the parts I didn't show. I'm picking up all that stuff. Um I don't have any forged steel, do I? Sometimes you've run across it, but I don't think I do. No, I sure don't. Now, I do have 356 small stone and some lump of clay, so I can make some more cobblestone rocks. Let's do that. I can make 150. Our cement mixer's done. Let's bring that down. Starting to run out of room here. Let's throw it... Um, how about this corner? Yeah, let's throw it in the corner right there. And then, I believe, uh, you just need... Rotting flesh, nitrite, and dirt. So I should have all of that. There's rotting flesh. There is uh, dirt. And there is my nitrate. Cool. So we can make some, get some fertilizer going. Make six pieces. It's only going to take um, 80 minutes. That's not terrible. I really need a second cement mixer if I'm going to start making concrete mix. I'm not making concrete mix yet, but uh, I would like to start making it. I think that's tall enough. I think this is tall enough. I'm I, any, any taller, I'm going to fall off and probably hurt myself. So now we need to start construction of the roof and the floor. And the floor can be wood. That's that's no problem at all. So let's let's go ahead and throw in the wood or the floor now. That way I don't have a chance of like falling on my butt. And I believe my wood frames are down here. Let me go check real quick. I mean, just falling is probably going to 
hurt pretty bad. All right, there is our floor. It is complete. And I think what we'll do, we'll start on the roof too. And I haven't quite figured out, there's not roof blocks that you can use, right? I, I don't think I've ever built a roof. I know you can use angles or ramps to do kind of a roof. Um, how about ramps? Let's see. Yeah, we might have to use ramps to build maybe a roof or just kind of use maybe just flat, just flat build a roof. I don't know. Let's put in some pillars though. And for what we need, I think this regular, uh, uh, you can use wood pillars. Uh, they have, yeah, yeah, wood pillars 100. I'd rather use 50. I think that's going to look better. So let's just make cobblestone. And it's not going to take too many of them, I don't think. And these are going to go on the corners. I'm out of cobblestone rocks. That's about as much as I can do today, I think. Because um, I'll harvest most stone tonight. I can go and put in a ladder if I want. And so I have, so I don't want to keep using these frames. Um, and a couple people did suggest, like, hey, make sure to leave a gap at the bottom for the ladder. And, and, and normally I do that, but I'm not really too worried about the zombies coming up. Um, I will probably do that before the next horde night, most likely. But let's put some ladders in so we can actually get up there. And this one, yeah, you'll have to jump to get up there. There we go. Here's our little roof. Looking good. And then we can actually put iron bars on the outside of this. And that'll be our way to shoot down on the, on the Z-Bags. All right, I got my hoe. Let's make some mushroom spore seeds. Let's, uh, we can make two of them. And then let's make blueberry seed. We can make two of them. And potatoes. Looks like we can probably make five. Let's go plant some, uh, go expand our garden a little bit. Now, I plant these mushrooms on the ground, as you guys can see. Uh, somebody did bring up in the comments that try not to walk on these or have zombies walk through them because they will trample them, apparently. Uh, I didn't know that, so just passing that along to you guys. It's looking good. We got a garden. Got all kinds of different stuff. We should be able to make some uh, vegetable stews maybe here pretty soon, which are really, really good. And it's officially night, so let me get back up here. I didn't realize they knocked off my rail. Uh, in one of the fights I was doing or something. I don't know. They knocked off my rail. Also damaged this pretty good, too. So, uh, they're really getting me. Why do I still have this stuff? I didn't grab all the stuff to sell to the trader. I still have some more things to sell. I wish I would have grabbed that for the, for the second trader. So, um, I have a butt ton of iron, as you can see. I need to get some iron bars crafted out. Let's see how many I can craft. I can get 15. Let's, uh, let's get those crafting. There we go. We need iron bars for the roof. And then I'm going to sort inventory. I'm going to make some red teas because I need I really need those to get going. And then I am going to do some more mining tonight. So, guys, thank you for all the support, everything. And uh, we'll pick, the, pick things up in day 11 of this. And we'll try to finish the roof if we can. And then we just need to start looting. We need to, we need to do a lot. We need to loot the rest of this city so we can move on to the next city. So, all right, guys. I'll catch you guys later.